<laughs> Thank you, kind sir. You saved us. How can I repay you? A hero labors not for personal gain, only... $500 plus tax. We also accept Funzo Bucks. You're hired. <gasps> you mean a job? Welcome to Harp Be Gone, a division of Louie Incorporated. Hurrah! Oh, roommate responsibility. <laughs> oh, no, the toga holder. <gasps> oh, um... What's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm just going to work. I'm off to my job. Nothing like the dignity of a hard day's labor. Mother, father, what a beautiful and harpy-free day for a helpless mortal tot like me to enjoy! Goo goo and gaga! -ga. Yes, sirree! So glad there's no harpies around, right, sweetums? You said it, hubby. Who wrote this? A harpy! Oh, what's a hapless babe to do? I have made a mighty boom boom in my typey. I'm Louie Duck. Founder and CEO of Harpygon. We're the leading task force dedicated to humanely capturing those pesky winged beasts infesting Duckburg. Remember, if you hear a scree, call Louie. Harpygon not responsible for any shredding, pecking, clawing, tonight's exploding eardrums, and or permanent fear of birds. Employer Llewellyn, if I may, why do we play dress up when there are still harpies afoot? If someone sees a harpy, they have to know who to call and pay lots of money to get rid of it. You better hope someone calls because we're already broke. Guys, are the harpies really so bad? Instead of capturing them, why don't we just channel their passion into something positive for society? The problem can't be the solution, Webby. That's just business. If we're gonna trap them, we're gonna have to figure out what they want. No mortal can know the mind of the featherless beast face. Ha, huh. the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook knows. Harpies, flying beasts of myth that steal. <laughs> oh no, the thing I love most. Steals the thing you love most. <laughs> Says it right there. Hmm. We're in business. Harpy gone, please hold. Harpy gone, please hold. Get on this blog! Why will no one tell us? Okay, okay, just look. Glamour is a famous tastemaker who only emerges once a year to post her it list at an exclusive party at the Duckburg Museum. A night of famous people celebrating how great they are. These are my people. We're going? I get you into that party. We perform for Glamour. We get on the it list before it's posted online. Internet fame. The most important fame of all. I don't know. How do we get in? Hmm, this is an exclusive party. If only someone had a super elaborate scheme to get in. Come on! I give you Louis Eleven, a multi-part, multi-person plan guaranteed to get us in. The perfect scheme. Ah, uh, cool. Maybe if we... Please don't touch the perfect scheme. But I know all about this party. And I know all about schemes, dear Duford. All you have to do is listen to me. And sign this legally binding contract giving me half of any money you make after you get famous. What? We can't! I already signed for you, Donald. Give me a pen! All 11 have an important role. I'm the team leader, obviously. Caballeros, you're the talent. 
And I'm the inside man because I know this party inside and out. What? No, but don't worry. I have a very special job just for you. Oh, special! This party is invite only, so we're gonna need... And you said calligraphy camp was a waste of time. <laughs> Hubert, it is perfect. Welcome to the scheme. What scheme? Nothing. Tell no one. Next, we're going to need a way to communicate all sneaky-like. All right. These earpieces are definitely not experimental. I'm definitely not testing them on you. And they definitely won't explode in your heads if you wear them too long. <laughs> Have fun at your party. And lastly, we need to figure out the party layout inside the museum, which we are doing now. <laughs> There's Glamour's seat, and there's the stage. Let's go, everyone! We want to start fashionably late, not late late. And remember, nobody gets on stage without a stage pass. What is that? Ugh, Daisy Duck, Glamour's personal assistant. If we want to get to Glamour, we have to go through her. Say that every year, Flinty. And every year, you go home crying. My eyes dry out very easily! But this year, I'll prove that I am the best Scottish billionaire golfer! I've hired the world's best player to be my caddy! Okay, if you want to be a winner, just follow these three rules. <gasps> I'm already a winner! Nobody tells Flint and Glam Gold what to do! You're fired! <laughs> <laughs> You there, green one. How would you like the honor of caddying under the great Flintar Glomgold? Eh. A chance to bask in the collective glory of victory? Blurg. I take by the hole. Eh, if I'm gonna be bored, I may as well get paid for it. Ha! Your own nephew's abandoning you. Soon there'll be nobody left to support you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, moments away from the classic's opening coin toss. Glamgold now very obviously switching the official coin for one that has heads on both sides. Very sneaky. He tosses the double-headed coin, and Glamgold has called tails. Glamgold clearly embarrassed, now trying to throw the coin into the ocean. He does not make it. Scrooge, desperate to move things along, has agreed to let Glamgold win the coin toss. Wow, what a game. See you next time, everybody. It hasn't even... Launch pad! That coin toss was only the beginning, Scrooge! The moment of reckoning is at hand! Unload. Oh, we've got another ten minutes of gloating before he takes a shot. Let's work on your drive. Hey, get back here! I'll show you how a real golfer would play this hole. All right, boy, how would your uncle play this hole? Uh, just... Why don't you hit the ball in the hole, I guess? Hit the ball? In the hole? Of course! I've been overthinking it this entire time! Holy haggis! It stayed on the course! It went forward! I'm not on fire! That might be the best shot I've ever taken! Nice work, Caddy! You have a 9 o'clock call with your investors, and a 9.15 with the Prime Minister of Hinmark, and... Wow! That suit is bright! Emeralds? The gentleman's gems. You gotta dress for success, and I am very successful now. In fact, send out a memo. Everyone in the building should be wearing emeralds. Right. You have a check-in at 9.47, alone uh, out okay, at 9 Okay, hang on. Just gotta get comfortable here. The Maybe if I just... Ask uh, if only there was something I could put my feet up on. Some kind of furniture. For your feet. What's happening? The greatest reunion in television history! Randy? Johnny? You see, Randy thought he was too handsome to build Ottomans on their reality show, and Johnny never got over his brother's betrayal. I swore I'd never work with him again. Not for all the money in the world. I'll give you $100 million. What?! Let's get talking! Now let the rich life of Louie Duck begin! The board wants to see you. We need to discuss the Ottoman incident. Oh, it's great, isn't it? It was not cheap, though. 
And how exactly does this ottoman benefit the company? I wanted it, and I'm very rich, so... This is a business, not a bank account. That money has to come from somewhere. Then figure it out. That is what I pay you to do, right? Hmm. We are spending a lot on magical defense on a dark, mysterious island in the Heron Sea. Great! Cut that! Now, let the rich life of Louis Duck begin! There's an emergency on your island in the Heron Sea. But, but... <sighs> Fine, but when I get back, I am going to live it up! The hour is at hand. Great party! Can't wait to tell my therapist about it when I'm older. Bye! Nope! What? Pretend to be family, bolt with our gift bags. That's the con. Ah! No, that's just being a bad party guest. Besides, we're not common thieves. We're con artists. And we're getting all the bags. And how are we supposed to do that? If I told you the whole plan up front, you'd never learn anything. <laughs> also, I don't know yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you perfection. I give you grace. I give you the universe's perfect whittle angel. Doofus Drake. Hello, and Llewellyn. Ah, yeah! I mean, happy birthday! It warms my heart to see all my wonderful friends and your loving parents. It reminds me of my <laughs> dear departed Gamimama. Gamimama. The only parent I've ever known. Why does he hurt me? You know why. Unfortunately, there are filthy liars in our midst only after my gift bags! Percival P. Peppington! He can smell lies. Percival, you disappoint me. If you're going to hire an actor to pretend to be your son, at least hire a child actor! Hey, I got range! This is some mix-up. I must have left my real son in the car. I'll go get him. <laughs> Would you like to see my honey bin? Don't you mean money bin? No. <laughs> so many liars! Oh, man! Everyone was pulling the same con as us! And we're the last one standing. Not exactly. Shark Bob, my boy! Me do this! Get off my back, Dad! <gasps> Your blank stare is soothing. <laughs> That's an awful lot of competition. Maybe you should keep your distance, Sharpie. No way! This is perfect! We expose the others as phonies to gain Doofus's trust, then get out of here with their leftover bags before we're exposed! Ambitious, dangerously overconfident. Let's do it. Mark Beaks, meet my grandma, out super young Aunt Goldie, and, uh, wait, since when do you have a kid? Since I realized how many likes family pics get online. Selfie burst! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Boyd! <laughs> sure you are. Yeah, I love this. What was it again? Uh, uh, son! Anyways, look at all the cool stuff we did yesterday. Oh, family memories. <laughs> Aye, what loving parent wouldn't keep a photo of his kin handy? Goldie, was it? Boop. You must have pics of your nephew. Uh, uh, of course I do. They're right here in my purse. The question is, which one? Because I love him so much, how can I choose just one? So, I have four! Look at that roguish twinkle in his eye. That's nice. Not bad. Now we go on the offense. Tell me, who's our first mark? Shark bomb! Get in the pool, you wee whippersnapper! Don't tell me what to do, old man! Old man? Can old man do this? 
Him. Definitely him. Louie? Mm, yes? This is your dream, to be even lazier? I nap all day. I never have to worry about anything. I'm shamelessly pampered. <laughs> Meow. Everyone pat my head. Good kid. Ow! Never mind. I don't want that anymore. You're asleep? We're in a dream. How are you sleep sleeping? I just am. Hey, where's Lena? I don't think I'm doing this right. Whoa! Lena? <laughs> Fascinating. In dreams, this form can represent outsider syndrome, perhaps a violent feral instinct. Or she's a pack animal and we're her pack. A wolf in the house. I'll get animal control. We need to go, like, right now. Okay, okay. We can go. Ah. This is unpleasant. This is not the plan! Louie! Lad, are you helping them? That's right, Scrooge. You didn't win the bet! I did! Wait, Wait what? what? It was I, Flint Hard Longold, who convinced all the other villains to band together. And it was I, Louis Duck, who convinced them to hand their resources over to Glomgold. Combined, they actually have more money than you. I saved your lives, but... Glomgold wins the bet. Bless me, bagpipes. I did it. I won the bet and your company. With a skein sorted out by your own nephew. Or should I say, my new partner. <gasps> and now I have your money and your money. Die. I don't need any of you. <laughs> I am the richest dog in the world! I am unstoppable! I am Flint Heart Love Gold! <laughs> <laughs> yep, Flint Heart Glom Gold won. His name is on all the paperwork, only your name's not really Flint Heart Glom Gold. It's Steve Maloney! Flint Heart Glomgold is a fake identity. So all your money, all your money, and all your money goes to your new partner, who is... Hold on one sec, just let me check right here. Oh, right. Me. Always read the fine print. Trademark Louis Duck. What? But that was my scheme! I got the family together! I was gonna steal their money from them after I won! I... Can explain? Let me get this straight. You stole all of our fortunes and then lost it all to a child? <laughs> I wish I never had a new pa. <laughs> ah, you scarred him for life. That's my job. <laughs> How could you betray us after such a dramatic speech about family? <laughs> Face punch out! Punch, 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 punch. Ow, 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 in selfie mode! You've made a powerful enemy. I have enough hate in my heart for two ah! billionaires! Should we do something? Ah! Eh, it'll take care of itself. Mom, I know I messed up before, but seeing all the angles is what I'm good at. Okay, but you need to take care to not hurt the ones you love, and I'll be here to help you see the angles you can't. Now all you have to do is turn the new company over to Scrooge, and everything will go back to normal. Louie, 